this is Pony Prepper Bill. I'm back with another video. Been real busy here. Uh, like everything was going wrong. The uh, we lost internet for a couple days. We got that fixed. Then the power went out for a couple days. Came back on. Uh, and I guess the last we've had so much rain. It was. It would be a hundred degrees, high humidity, and then it would pour, and the bugs would come out. I came out with the camera, and it would fog up for hours. We had so much rain, and then three or four days, it'd be like 110 degrees. Then it would pour for three days. Backyard would flood. But we had so much thunder the other, well, the 10th or something, I guess. forget when it was. Our central air unit took a crap. Had somebody come out and take a look at it, and evidently it's old. It needs something, and in insurance, it's going to take because of COVID. It's going to take uh, like six to eight weeks for somebody to come out to take a look at it for an estimate. And I got prices to replace it. It's like over seven thousand dollars. So we got a couple window units to try and keep the house cool. What do you think about shit hits the fan scenario? Would it be better if an EMP happened or if the power went out for six months, say? Would you rather it be in the summer or in the winter? They say people would freeze to death, but a lot of people have, well, not a lot of people, but most people I know that are prepared have a wood stove, have a way to cook inside, how to heat your house. As long as you have wood or something to burn. I've been collecting all kinds of wood to burn this winter. Uh, we can cook on our wood stove. I remember as a kid, we didn't have air conditioning until, like, I was in high school. Most of our house was brick. This house is just like a regular frickin' house. We got a half-cathedral ceiling, so the heat goes straight up into the, our bedroom. This house was so hot, it was unbearable. So, in a shit hits the fan scenario in the summertime, that's going to be a problem for my household. We're all a little on the chunky side. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was bad. We had a, a rolling air, like portable unit that was out in the garage for a while. Uh, we put that in here, in the, in the living room, kind of. Try and keep the one pig cool. Try and cool the house off a little bit. But upstairs, it was got awfully hot. So we took the one air conditioner out of my movie room, put it in the house. And, but anyway, yeah, I, for me, I would rather it be in the winter. They say a lot of people will freeze to death. But in the summer, a lot of people die from heat stroke and everything else. Well, anyway, a lot of stuff's been going on here. Moving on, uh, what are we going to eat? I know every year certain things get recalled here and there, but it seems, unless it's just me, but it seems that this year, everything is being recalled. I mean, here we have Tyson chicken is being recalled for listeria. 30,000 pounds of beef recall for E. coli. Cooked chicken recall. Shrimp recall linked to salmonella outbreak. Well, Serenade Foods, a.k.a. Dutch Farms, Milford Valley, and Kirkwood, is frozen, raw, breaded, and pre-browned stuffed chicken recall. And they got uh, dog food. Dog food recall. And a few cat people. Cat food recall. And a lot of people will be like, well, that's why I don't eat meat. I'm a vegetarian. I only eat vegetables. I don't eat meat. Well, here you go. Baby carrot recall for salmonella. Broccoli recall for listeria. Like everything we eat is a recall or there's a food shortage and you can't get it. And what you can get is bad. So what are we going to be eating? My thing was all this freeze-dried food. Where are they getting the food from? From these companies? 
if if you're buying freeze-dried food now maybe the food was made from last year and it's good I don't know much about freeze-dried food listeria E. coli uh, salmonella when you cook the food does that kill it and then they freeze dry it or certain things freeze dried will that survive in freeze dried food I'm, a, I'm not saying it is I don't know um, is this food going to be good does this stuff well the freeze dried food if it was made with these contaminated products would they be good in 25 years or a year from now everything is just going crazy I saw all these new news articles are popping up on my phone, uh, on the internet. It was a delivery catering service that up that was doing real good down the shore, and they ended up opening a restaurant, and they did everything there. It was you could eat there, you know, fa well, not fast food, but they had everything there. They're closing because uh, the price of food has gone up so much they figure they have to raise their prices and people aren't going to pay these prices and they can't find people to work to serve the food for cooks and everything else and they said they lost so much money in the last seven months it doesn't matter what happens they can't recover so they're closing and I'm seeing more and more places down the shore that are closing for good all of South Jersey, a lot of places are closing. And then I see all these new places that are going to open up with outdoor dining. And is any of this stuff even going to be possible in six months from now? Uh, and another thing, uh, this thing with Afghanistan, we're bringing, what was it, like over 10,000 Afghani people's refugees to the United States. And right here, in New Jersey, Governor Murphy says a lot of them are coming to New Jersey, and it's a great thing. And for a while, they're going to be housed at Fort Dix McGuire Air Force Base. Where they're going to go after that, I have no idea. You have all these people going to supposedly lose their houses. They can't pay the mortgage on the house that they're renting. People aren't paying the rent. When all this stuff's up, they're going to be homeless. And now we have thousands of refugees coming here from Afghanistan. What do you think of that? Are they good? Or are they bad? Is ISIS or the Taliban coming in with them? The last two years have been crazy. And remember, it was actually on my birthday. December 21st, 12 21 12, was supposed to be the end of the world as far as the Mayan calendar. A bunch of us guys from the military club got a call from it was a restaurant bar South Jersey, way way south. They wanted to hire us for an end of the world party. And they had TVs playing with different doomsday movies and everything and people were dressed up as Mayan people and zombies and army people and I mean, it, it was fun, and it was like my birthday. And at midnight, we didn't know the comet was going to happen. The Earth was going to flip on its axis. and That was supposed to be, you know, the Mayan calendar. Nothing happened, of course, you know. But what if they had it backwards, if they flip-flopped something? 12, 21, 12 is what it was. What if it's 12, 21, 21, which would be this year? my birthday this year the end of the world this year seems like it could happen just my thoughts so this is Pony Prepper Bill what do you think about all these food recalls does it matter if you eat meat does it matter if you're a vegetarian if you have animals everything's freaking contaminated anymore if you can even get it I've seen we went to the store today and I had to get another air conditioner and what's today Wednesday there was so much traffic like short traffic people aren't people working I guess nobody's working anymore I've never seen so many freaking cars on a Wednesday yeah it's summertime but come on this is like weekend traffic 
I want to move somewhere where I never, ever, 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 ever will hear that shore traffic. I hate the shore. So this is Pony Prepper Bill. Until next time, and uh, see where we're headed. What do you think about the mine calendar being this year? I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.